16 signs your husband doesn't love you anymore. Social psychology explain presence. A relationship can undergo fluctuations and emotional rifts despite your continuous and genuine efforts. This is quite normal and there is a reason behind it which is you cannot change a person who thinks he is right and acts stubborn about his flaws. We are going to discuss some obvious signs which will lead you to a conclusion that your spouse no longer wants you and these indications will manifest various answers to why you should stop doing efforts for him as well. In this video, I'm going to tell you 16 signs your husband doesn't love you anymore. Before jumping into the topic, make sure to subscribe to the channel, press the bell icon and like and share the video. Let's start. Number 1 He stops asking about your life. He has no idea what is happening with you in your life. He acts like he is happy without you. He starts to step back and does not realize that it will have consequences for him. He does not worry about you. If you are sick, he does not come and see you. He does not take care of you and gives you the emotional support that a spouse should give to the other which is a clear sign that your guy does not want to love you anymore and to reach this breaking point. A person has to take many steps which your husband has initiated to do so. The need of the hour is that you have to consider why you are doing this and is that person worth all your struggle and sacrifice? Number 2 Signs He Doesn't Love You Anymore, He Doesn't Listen to You You feel like you are talking to a statue instead of your husband. He does not respond in an appropriate way proportionate to the days when he used to pour his love on you all the time. He puts his decisions on you without indulging in some healthy constructive debate. He starts to doubt you or even yell at you because he thinks that he will keep you under his thumb by demeaning you with verbal abuse and rude behavior. This point and the behavioral shift he is executing before you should tell you that your husband does not deserve the sacrifice and the efforts you are doing for him at the moment. Number 3 He has withdrawn all affection. He has abruptly stopped adulation for different things. He does not encourage you for your struggles and daily work hustle, he neglects the sacrifices you have been making for this relationship. Your marriage, and your husband to make everything breathable and beautiful for him by investing your time, energy, personal space, love, care, trust, and respect. So many elements make a bond wonderful as it should be but if your husband is not reciprocating these factors which are actually a foundation of a healthy relationship then you have to stop right away. Not even your spouse is worth your investment if he needs schooling to build on a relationship with a woman as his wife and needs psychological rehabilitation. Number 4 My husband doesn't love me, he doesn't instigate physical intimacy. He does not involve physical gestures in life for you. Like before, he used to kiss you on your forehead, and perhaps he played with your hair just to make you feel comfortable and loved by him. He does not hold your hand when you are distressed or worried about something. Instead, he is keeping his distance from you. He does not indulge in a specific and integral physical intimacy with you which is again a clear sign that he is deliberately moving back and does not want to touch you or caress your body like usual because he wants to break the restrictions of this relationship. Number 5 He doesn't do the things you ask him to do. He is not working on his flaws. He is not abstaining from smoking and alcohol which are vicious habits regarding hygiene and health. You told him to stop noticing other girls in public but he continues to do so just to make you feel disgusted and dejected so that you will easily give up on him which is his motive. He wants you to make a decision so that he will be free from you and the marriage you were dragging to this point with your love and sacrifice. A malice move. But yes, this is what is actually happening in his heart and mind to brush you under the carpet after the breakup. Number 6 Signs He's not in love with you anymore, he is more selfish than he used to be. All he cares for is just himself. He has become too toxic and narcissistic to continue your life with him. It has just become suffocating and is stifling you from the inside because of the emotional trauma he is causing you due to different parameters. Your preferences do not matter to him now. He wants everything just for his future while you are not in it. He does not share things with you. He eats all the food, takes over all the space in the room, drives alone, parties alone, and does not hand you the money when you are in a dire need of it as well. All of this is signaling you to move away from such a toxic relationship and start to build up from the scratch for a happy life. Number 7 He makes more plans without you. He does not take you to your favorite clubs, restaurants, and other hangout places. He takes his boys and family out but you. He does not even inform you that he is out somewhere so that you will not get worried for him. So mean. 
He has forgotten every single memory that you both had shared. He wants to lead his life all happy in your absence. He thinks that you will cause disgrace and humility to him if you come out with him which is why he doesn't want you to come out and he enjoys being alone with his family. His family plans do not include you and make you feel like a stranger to him which is why you have to respect yourself and think about leaving that guy behind. Number 8 He doesn't want to go on dates with you. He does not remember your anniversary now. If you ask him about date night or any date plan he refuses or postpones it by making lame excuses to you. Perhaps, he has started to like someone else if this is the case. No man who is tangibly into you forgets all the special dates pertinent to you. He makes sure that you are loved that day of your life to make it extra special. But he does not want romantic moments with you. He has put behind rekindling the old dead romance which you both had between yourselves before. The emotional setback has caused you bad consequences which he is unaware of. In this situation, it is highly unlikely he will take you on random dates. Number 9 He stopped complimenting you. You put on his favorite color and dress up as he loves. You do everything just to grab his attention and love so that all the gap between you both will vanish in a jiffy. But he always reacts opposite to your feelings and notions. He neglects your efforts. He does not see you from head to toe or what you are wearing for the day. He forgets to adulate you or maybe on purpose to hurt you so that you will eventually step back from him sooner or later. You are dying for one compliment from him but this is not the way. A gentleman does not need any signal from his woman that she wants to hear a compliment. Again a paramount factor that needs your attention. Number 10 He treats other people better than he treats you. One of the signs that a man doesn't want you anymore is that there is a difference in his behavior. The difference between his attitude and body language with you and with other people is tangible. He keeps his distance from you. He does not touch you or hug you as couples should. His body language shifts to introvertish when he is out with you in public. Proportionate to people that he is holding hands, hugging, and appreciating. A clear indication? Absolutely, yes. If this has not happened to you before then think for once about why this is happening now? Surely, a big and concrete reason is concealed behind this behavioral shift towards you from his end. Number 11 He is more irritable with you. He gets annoyed with mundane things and starts to yell at you even when it is not your fault. He turns down your explanations and justifications and turns his back on you. He uses harsh and hurtful words which is an obvious verbal abuse and needs to be condemned. He does not accept that you are not to blame. You did nothing wrong but the bottom line is will you be able to justify yourself before such a malicious man who has no space in his heart and life left for you? Your tears and heartbreak do not matter to him. All he thinks is about himself and his future which does not include you. Then what is the logic behind waiting for him for no reason? Number 12 He points out your faults. He brings out your mistakes and taunts you for them. He does not encourage you to take lessons from them, instead, he uses them as his weapon to give you wounds that are not to be healed quickly. Wounds of the heart do not recover in a short time. He blames everything on you and tells you that it was your mistake and it happened because of you. Your clarification is baseless to him which brings us to the point that if you are a person with integrity and self-esteem and high morale then will you be able to breathe with such a toxic person your whole life? Number 13 He badmouths you in front of others. He degrades you before others and makes fun of your flaws and limitations. He does not care about your morale, respect, and self-regard. He makes that public place quite stifling for you with his harsh-toned words. The words and language he is using for you do not make him a gentleman. He is a coward who is hiding behind the shield of his harsh verbiage and rudeness to portray a bad image of you to others. You cannot continue your life with such a person who needs to be educated regarding conversations and the level of words when it comes to discussing a woman who is his wife. Number 14 Signs He doesn't want you anymore, he is never happy, no matter what you do. He tells you to do more. The efforts you are making for him are not satisfactory. He remains insatiable by your attempts and investment of love. Even if you go above and beyond by swallowing hard pills and making tough decisions, they are just not enough for him. Everything coming from your end as a contribution is not sufficient for him no matter your health condition, workload, and busy schedule. Number 15 He avoids communication when you're not together. He has alleviated the duration of communication with you. He barely responds and talks with you. 
He is doing this to get rid of this relationship and your responsibilities which indicates to you that you need to stop worrying about such a person and lead your life peacefully the way you want. Your husband does not deserve you which is obvious by his actions, body language and notions pertinent to you. Number 16 He doesn't miss you. Only you are still contributing to this one-sided relationship. You are channeling the efforts and sacrifices to this bond so that it could revive. When he does not show up, you worry for him and reach out to his friends and family. But when it comes to him he is happy without you and does not recall your presence. Again an obvious sign that you need to move on like him and make a healthy decision for your own good. Previously discussed signs are a pathway for you to help you draw a line in your attempts to convince your toxic husband. Your one decision will determine your future life, goals, and happiness so be as prudent as possible while making one. Don't forget to post a comment and let us know if this video was helpful for you not. Share the video so your friends and family can also benefit from the video. Good luck!